On the ice at Madison Square Garden, New York meets Montreal in the world's fastest game. Both teams pile on the pressure right from the start, and a neck-and-neck -neck first period sees some remarkable saves from both goalies as the teams swing from end to end like a pendulum. Canadian Desolets gets the ball and streaking forward Desolet shoots to make it first score to the Canadian. And again the Canadians sweep down the ice and this time it's Joliet and the Canadians are well ahead. But in the third period the New Yorkers put on speed and spectacular play by New York's Lynn Patrick levels the score at the end of the last period. They have to stay for overtime, and with both teams going like demons, watch the final play that gives the puck to New York's Frank Boucher, and the final goal that clinches victory for the New York Rangers. It's officially on. A nice, gentle game, full of battered shins, cracked skulls, broken arms, tangled legs, and nose dives. Just watch the fast play between the Philadelphia Arrows and the Boston Cubs. Major teams in the Canadian-American League, both out to take the first victory of the year. Dashing all around the arena with spills, thrills, and socks to make it more exciting for the fans. Jedwa, Boston's big defense star and void of the Philadelphia Arrows, both played sensational hockey. But Jedwa was accused of getting rough when he bumped Boyd, starting a feud that raged throughout the game resulting in plenty of clashes and arguments between the rivals on the two teams, which reached its climax when another player was thrown flat on his face. Then Boyd rushed to Jedwa with blood in his eye and tore into him. Look, they're mixing it up, and now they're going down into a heap with the others piling on. What a fight! They even had to call in the police. Wide of the net. Red Horner leads a dangerous rush for Toronto. They're closing right in on the defense. Three of them. Right in close, and Sands is upset, and Aikam hit. Balls over. That is close to the Rangers. The crowd certainly worked up to this game. Another close call for Rangers. Primo back of the net, centers it out, and one minute to go. And that's closer than ever. Another Toronto, a ganging attack, and they miss, going into the corner. Crowd on their feet by this time, crowding around the Ranger nets. Rangers down this side. Keeling goes into the corner, loses it. Puck is back of the Toronto Nets, and they're having a hard time now keeping it away. Andy Blair rushes up with Grace. He is outstated at center, and the regulation time is nearly up. They've come to the end of the 60 minutes of regulation play, and the score is still tied. Nothing, nothing. That means overtime, and the first goal will win the game. They're all ready for the face-off now. Where they go for the overtime, Doherty's. Steps in there fast, took his shot, but it was wide. The puck in the corner. The Leafs close in fast, but Rangers shot it down and it's called back. Face off. Gracie nearly got clear. Bill Cook down this wing for Rangers at center. Over the blue line in on the defense, passed to the open wing, and no one was there to take it. Clancy of the Leafs rushing up at the blue line at center. They go closing in fast. Four of them right in on the defense. Into the corner, and Aiken had pulled off a great stop. That was close. The Leafs are trying to center it out. Rangers trying to get it away. Finally, they shoot it down the ice, and the crowd had quite a thrill over that. Into the corner, the Leafs back of their own nets are two men short. The Rangers, Bill Cook, score! The series is over. New York Rangers are the winners. The battered old Stanley Cup goes back to Broadway, emblematic of the world's professional championship.
Assistons à une pratique du Club canadien au Parc Jeanne Mance en 1925. Voici Georges Pézina dans les filets. Le plus fameux des gardiens de but devait mourir quelques mois plus tard. Howie ah Morin à la mise au jeu dans la joute d'ouverture du Madison Square Garden de New York en 1925. Le Canadien battit l'Américain par 3 à 1 et Albert Leduc compta le premier point. Morin portait alors le numéro 6 au lieu du numéro 7 qu'il illustra si bien par la suite. Il n'y a rien de lent dans ce jeu. L'art de filmer le hockey à cette époque n'en était qu'à ses débuts. 